Hi guys, well uh, I'm going to uh, speak in this video, I haven't done that for a while. I'm using the um, the CV1's microphone to do that, so that'll be interesting to see how that goes. Uh, so in this video I want to um, talk about the new login screen. Uh, this space scene isn't actually one you can fly around in, but it basically serves as the home uh, screen for uh, getting into the game. Uh, and um, one of the key things I want to show in this video is actually the new UI work that I've been doing for it. So now it's all gaze based, it never used to be all gaze based, it used to be uh, partially contextual for interacting with the cockpit and the menus used to use the d-pad navigation which wasn't ideal. So now you can press the A button, B button to back out of any, any menu. Um, it's very easy to select things like this, turn some music on. Um, yeah, these really are very easy to use. Uh, the input system now uses um, something called Rewired, uh, which is a third-party Unity package. And this will allow you to configure almost any combination of devices. I'll just show up here, any devices that are detected, and you'll be able to config configure all the different uh, things that you can do in Lunar Flight in here. Uh, great for HOTAS, uh, HOTAS or hands-on throttle and stick systems. Uh, our video settings, uh, we have some presets here. Uh, the, the default VR preset is optimized for the minimum spec, but uh, if you've got a much higher end machine, you can obviously crank these up. Um, game settings, toggles. Um, and uh, I'll actually go back and show you this. One of the things I've been playing with is adding depth to the UI rather than just being completely flat. So these things sort of pop out of it, out at you, which is, which is a nice little touch. Um, and uh, so now uh, one of the key differences is you, you're able to create your profile uh, or your save game within VR. You never used to be able to do that. You used to load up the old 2D version of the game if you wanted to create a, a, a custom profile. The difference between um, what used to happen and what happens now is you'll be able to select an online profile which has access to the leaderboard. So um, I'm going to allow you to view the leaderboards, see your position on the leaderboard. Uh, so we have this new screen here where you can create your profile, validate your account to make sure it's unique, uh, enter it in here, and off you go. Um, now uh, one other uh, thing that will be in here which isn't in there yet is um, the uh, multiplayer or single player option. If you're picking multiplayer uh, you'll be able to pick join or create and uh, if you're joining you'll get a server browser. Uh, see any games that are already in, in play uh, and if you want to create one you can configure all the settings for the server. Uh, so that's the work so far. I'm about 60% through it. There's still a bunch of screens to do but it's mostly mostly done. Most of the harder stuff has been done and I've sort of got all the stuff in place to sort of build everything out from here on. Uh, and uh, one of the nice thing about this scene really is you can get up out of your seat and sort of just stand here and look out at the window uh, and and check out the scene. It's, it, it's a really, really cool scene and, and I'm really, really pleased with the way it's turned out. Uh, not to mention the, the amazing cockpit uh, work that uh, my good friend Michael Cooper has done. Uh, so that's that guys. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video um, and uh, hang in there until uh, around June, I guess. Uh, see you later.